Hi, stationery friends. Welcome to Ginger Peachy Stationery. My name is Sarah, and today I thought we would talk about Galen Leather. Um, I've got a few pieces from Galen Leather, not a whole lot, but um, I thought I would share with you my thoughts. I've got a couple of things that are new to me, and um, I thought we could just go through them real quick. So, um, my first purchase from Galen Leather was this uh, Caveco Sport. This was a special edition that Galen Leather did with Caveco. It's a transparent purple. Um, I can't remember what exactly it was called. Um, but anyway, it was a couple of years ago in 2021, I believe. And I just ordered this pen. I don't think I ordered anything else with it at that time. And, um, you know, really enjoyed it. But I've always, of course, heard about and seen their leather goods. And wanted to get my hands on some. So last year, <clears throat> excuse me, 2022, um, I used my Hobonichi Weeks the whole year. It was my first year in the Weeks. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, it just, it works really well for me. It's small enough to go in my, most of my purses if I want to, or just to grab and carry. Um, and I really enjoyed it. And I pretty much used it the whole year with a um, with a cover on cover. I had one of these cover, these plastic cover on covers with, um, you know, a design on it that was on there most of the year. Um, so going into 2023, when I knew I wanted to use the weeks again, I decided to upgrade my cover. And um, Galen Leather is a company that's based in Turkey. Um, I will share in the description um, a link to where they share some places where you can give if you would like to donate to help um, people affected by the earthquake there recently. They, um, you know, they recommend some organizations that are doing good work. So um, anyway, I will share that. But um, anyway, Galen Leather is, like I said, based in Turkey. They are a family business. Um, they have a really interesting story. I will link that to go read their story. And, um, so my first thing I grabbed was this leather, uh, cover for the Hobonichi Weeks. Um, this was the only thing I bought, um, in the fall, just this item from them. It came with some freebies. They sent this cute little leather tag, um, that I just really like um, and I haven't actually put it on anything because I'm afraid to lose it but it's just a really cute little leather tag you know that you can attach to something that came as a freebie um, but I just bought this cover you can see that it's a little bit darker than you know these other things because I've had it for a little bit longer you know when I put lotion on my hands I don't mind like picking this up kind of rub the lotion in I want it to patina um, some more and get darker but I, this is the undyed leather this is called their Slim Hobonichi Weeks, or I may not say Hobonichi, but their Weeks Slim Cover. Um, it is a very slim profile. You can see I just have the regular Weeks. I don't have the Mega. There is room in here for you to put the Mega if that's what you want. I'm pretty sure this same cover is the same size that you would get for the Mega Weeks if that's what you use. Um, it is very slim. It is just the this one outside piece of leather with their logo on it. And then it has a pocket on the front. I mean, in the front and a pocket in the back. And that is it. There's these little um, slit pockets um, on both sides and a pin loop. And that's all you get. It's just very plain. Um, I'll pull this out and show you what's, you know, the inside is, is leather. Um, that's it. It is super thin, but it is great quality. You know, it's not like cheap thin. It just is thin and lightweight um, for, excuse me, for this purpose. Um, so in here I have my weeks. Um, this is the bow and tie week. So this is actually like silk tie material. And it's a little bit thicker than the regular weeks. Um, cover is, which is, it is fabric covered, but it is, ah, I'm not going to take it out. It's like a thinner stuff, you know, cardboard covered, fabric covered cardboard. Um, it is very tight putting this in. Like it takes some wiggling, you know, it takes a little work, but then it's in there fine and it's not slipping and sliding. You know, it is made for this, so it does fit. This one fit in a little bit easier. 
Um, you see, I do not have the front tucked in. For one thing, who would want to cover up these precious bunnies? But also, when I put it in here, um, when I would go to open it, you know, there's not enough slip and slide in there. And so it would open like this. So you really like can't lay it down flat, you know, and I did not like that. Um, I did try that with this one because I wasn't as worried about covering up the cute pink cover. Um, but I found that this does not bother me at all, really. So um, I thought it would. I thought I would want just that easy, like flip it right open. But, um, you know, it's great. And I put this extra. These are the Hobonichi um, add-on notebooks. Um, it's a slim notebook. It's made to fit like inside of your weeks. Um, you know, you can slip it into the cover on cover here and it's made to go, to go with a weeks. So that has been perfect for me to slide in right here. Um, and I used the little weeks pocket to put in a little picture of Rudy. So this has been great. Um, these little slit pockets are just enough. Um, I carry this little Esterbrook Y'all, I say the word little so much, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I picked that up from a friend of mine, and I, I can't stop. But I have this Esterbrook um, paper clip that I think it was about $15. Um, I really love the Traveler's Company big brass clip, you know, that people use to hold their notebook open or whatever. But I just know myself that it would be too big, too thick, too heavy you know, that I probably would not carry it around with me. So when I saw this, this is, you know, it's brass, but it's thin piece of metal. This is just right for when I have a few pages that kind of want to flip open, you know, I can put this on there and it will hold them down. Um, you can, I can put it at the top and you know, it's brass. So it's got just enough weight to it that it will help in those situations. <laughs> Um, it's got a little straight edge, you know, that can be used and, um, I will say it's kind of, uh, sharp. I mean, could be a weapon, I guess, if you needed it, but, um, you know, if you're not super careful, I think it could probably tear your paper, but I have not had that problem yet. You know, I kind of put it on there and leave it until I'm done and then take it off. And then it just slips so well right into this pocket. Um, and it's with me whenever I need it. So I really like that. Um, and then my weeks, you know, I mean, I have my little, I use little tabs in my weeks and these, um, what is the brand of these little clip things? I don't remember, but that's great. Um, I stuck this in crooked a while ago and now I'm afraid it's going to get bent. There we go. And then in the back, the same little slip pocket. I've got a little picture in there and there's room for like I've got some note cards and things slid in there. Um, the pen loop on this is excellent. Um, I have been carrying my Retro 51 pens. Um, I've used them more than ever in the last six months or well, five, four or five months that I've had this journal cover, this planner cover than ever before because I decided just to keep a Retro 51 with my planner at all times. Um, it finally occurred to me to buy some Jetstream ballpoint refills and take out the roller balls that I despise so much. And that makes this really usable for me with a, a point, point 0.5 or point 0.7 Jetstream refill. Um, it slides right in here. I have a Retro 51 Tornado for every season. <laughs> so I try to change it out at least once a month. Um, you know, I'm not like a stickler for rules like that. Like it must be changed out every month. But um, I do think about it, you know, a little more often and I'll even trade the refills around between pens. So I'm getting a lot of use out of them and it just slides in so beautifully in that little pen loop. But I do want to show you that this pen loop is excellent. Um, this will fit. This is a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Will fit right in there. It goes in no problem. I mean, you have to use just a little bit of, you know, oomph. Um, a Twisby Diamond 580 will go in, takes just a little bit more effort, but the elastic on this is really nice and stretchy. And so it goes right in and having the leather here gives it something to grab onto. This is a Pelican M2, M205. So if you want to use a fountain pen, um, this is a Benu Euphoria. This will not really go. 
I mean, you could make it happen, but I, you know, I wouldn't force that. And that Kaveco Sport will go right in. You know, it takes just a little effort with your hand, but it's not, um, it's not bad at all. It's a really good pen loop, way better than lots of them that I have seen on very expensive <laughs> planner covers. So, um, anyway, this has been a fabulous, fabulous purchase. Um, I have before used the elastic Hobonichi leather closure around this band and it works great. Um, I left it in the living room so I don't have it to show you. Or even the little thin elastic ones that are similar to a traveler's notebook. Hobonichi makes the ones that have a little leather button and so they just come around and loops around it. That works great to hold this closed. Um, I find that for me it doesn't just flop open you know because I don't have this stuffed super full and so I usually just slide this down in my tote bag like this or even in my purse and it does just fine and I'm not panicked about you know keeping my pages from getting dented or anything it's this is to be used for one year you know this planner is to be used for one year and then that's it it does not have to be perfect so um, anyway I really love and recommend this so in January of this year I placed another order from Galen Leather um, and I went with two pen cases. Um, I normally, my regular, like everyday take with me to work pen case is this 20 pen case from Keiko um, on Amazon. And it's great. I mean, it holds 20 pens. It is super solid quality. They make a 40 pen version. If you're looking for something to store your pens in, I really recommend these Keiko cases because they're great and they're really well priced for what they are they really they protect your pens well they're not too bulky um and here's the brand Keiko um but it is you know 20 pens to work every day is a lot I just kind of panic about not having what I want with me so um so I was thinking well maybe the 10 pen case from Galen Leather would be good. And then I thought, well, the 10 pen case is kind of big to slip into my purse or something like that. So then I settled on getting a four pen, this is called the slip and zip, and a five pen case together. So that's nine. And they sent me this freebie little pen sleeve, um, which was a surprise. So I have 10 pins, <laughs> which is, uh, you know, exactly what I was kind of thinking. Um, I wanted to, I put this in here just to show you how big of a pen this sleeve holds. I'm not actually sure if they sell these. I think they do, but they threw it in with my order. This is a giant, you know, Jinhao X159, which is a really good pen, by the way, for like 12 bucks. I mean, hey, I recommend grabbing one of these. It fits in there great. I mean, the top sticks out just a smidge, so obviously you wouldn't want to put your you know, Mont Blanc 149 in there and then throw it around. <laughs> but, um, but really nice little pen sleeve with their branding on there. And they gave me the matching undyed leather, which is nice. So, um, anyway, I kept seeing on Instagram the little slip and zip, which I think is so cute. Um, this, um, I couldn't figure out, I mean, I can't really decide, does it go this way or does it go this way? You know, like when I got it, I've, think it was this way because the way the pen thing was in there but then the logo I feel like should be on the back so but then if you do this like the zippers at the bottom I don't know <laughs> like this feels good to me to like zip it up and then have it closed like this it does not matter okay it does not matter I realize that it also feels natural to me to hold it like this and unzip it left to right and then pull my pens out so the pens come I mean, not, the pins don't come with anything. The, um, the pouch comes with this little um, four pin holder thing, this little flat thing. Um, I keep seeing this on Instagram and I like, that is so cute in people's pictures. You know, they put their little four pins in it and then they lay it over here and it's like, oh, it's so cute. There's my little pins. And I just liked it. And so that was, you know, I was influenced partially to get this. Um, but I do really like it. It holds, you know, really large pens. Um, this, you know, is a Twisby Eco. Um, I will say this elastic is very soft. It's quite stretchy, but that means that some really tight clips don't want to just slide right on there. You kind of have to work with them a little bit. 
Um, Pilot Vanishing Point goes right on there. I do usually turn my clips sideways. Um, and I'll show you why in a second. But um, a Laban 325. I never, I can never, I always want to call it the 825, I think because of the Curran Dash pin. Um, that fits in there. That's a pretty large pin. Um, and yeah, it, the, you know, the clip does slide over the elastic. And then this is a uh, Pilot Custom 74. It goes right in there. Um, I do find sometimes that it overshoots and then I have to kind of correct it. Not a big deal, you know. Your pins can touch down here and up here, but um, I don't think that's really a problem unless you have some very delicate things. And they don't tend to touch. I'm just saying they can. Like this doesn't keep them fully separated. You would need a different setup for that. Um, you can also, if you have pins that have really large caps or something, you can put them in this direction. Um, it doesn't quite work for, like the Custom 74 is a little bit small for that. It just wiggles around a little bit. But most of these, I mean, even the Eco will go this way. And I think the Vanishing Point, you know, it'll hold on to it um, just fine. And then you can see your caps, you know, lined up really pretty there. Um, I do have a Euphoria, a Banu Euphoria. So you can put them in this way and that looks nice too. Um, it's really just, you know, an aesthetic thing. And if you don't like having to slip the clip over um, the elastic, you know, you can put them this way. So um, I'll leave them, I'm gonna put this one upside down like this. And then it just slides right into this pouch. And um, you see that it can go this way. Obviously it could go in the other way. Um, the reason I turn my clips sideways is just because of um, is just because of putting it in here to make it a little flatter, just to keep it from indenting into the leather too much. I mean, I don't think it's a problem, but you know, just something I do is turn my clips sideways. And then there's room in here for more things. Really, I've actually stuck another pin in here before. Um, one day I had two pins stuck behind here and was able to close it up. Um, I have another one of these Hobonichi. Um, little thin notebooks in here right now and that works great um, so I really like this I think it's cute I think it's nice to be able to take your pins out and lay them on your desk kind of you know functions as a not a pin tray but you know a little display and just to have them right there handy um, I really like this so this was a win for me and my thought was having these two things instead of one 10 pin case this fits down in my purse really nicely. It is slim. It is just about the same size as this planner, just a little taller. So, you know, anywhere this planner can go, this can go. And like, um, there are times when I like to just grab my pens cause I've got, you know, my notebooks or whatever in, in something else or, or whatnot. So, um, I really like this. This is the five pin zip case. Now this kind of surprised me. It's not, um, it is what I expected, but I had a little disappointment with it. Um, it is really beautiful. Again, it's got the Galen leather logo at the bottom. It looks like I've already got some little speckles of ink on there, but to be expected when you're using light leather and fountain pens, um, the zipper is super smooth. It does say YKK on it. So they do use YKK zippers, which are the best out there. Um, with the little, little, little leather pull tabs on both of these. Um, so, to open it up, you open it and you have your pins on the left, which you feel like if it's just a five pen case that your pen should be on the right, I guess. Just because, you know, you, you open it like a book, you feel like your pen should be here, but they're not, they're over here. <laughs> So, um, but then I realized that I think you're intended to be able to put a notebook here. So when I first grabbed this, when I first grabbed it, when I first opened it, I tried to put in here, it was actually a Midori notebook and it was probably about the size of these two notebooks put together. It was a little thicker. Um, and I just was like, bloop, I slid the back into this pocket. It was like, great, put my Midori notebook in here and it did not close. So I was kind of surprised because I was like, uh, I thought this was maybe supposed to fit a notebook. Um, this one is a Kokuyo notebook. This will fit, but you do have to like, 
push it closed. And at the top, it's not very easy. So I don't, you know, I was kind of surprised. Like this doesn't really work. And this is not a very big notebook. Um, this Life notebook um, fits in there okay. This is a Life, it's a thinner, it's a little bit thinner than this one. Um, I think it might make a difference that it's a sewn binding instead of, I don't know what that's called, perfect binding. Is that what that's called? Perfect binding? I think so. Because it like lays flat. Um, so this one fits in there better. Um, and you can zip it up. But it is just tight. And so I have not actually even been carrying a notebook in this. Um, today I rediscovered this little tiny owl notebook, which is Tomoe River paper that I doodled in a bunch in like 2016. <laughs> um, and it is smaller. You can see it's, you know, smaller. <laughs> and um, I'm sorry, I hit the tripod. Um, this one fits in there. Okay, steady, steady. It fits in there fine and I can zip it up um, better. But, you know, I just was like, oh, well, it's, I think it's supposed to be for a notebook and then a notebook doesn't exactly go. Also, this is very tight, so getting a notebook in there is not super easy. But all that said, the five pin portion is excellent. Um, similar, I mean, it's the same elastic as the four pin slip and zip. Um, it holds this thinner Franklin Kristoff Model 45 just fine. Got another Platinum uh, Pilot Custom 74. This is a Benu Euphoria, and it fits just right in there just fine. Um, I lined these up a few minutes ago, so I don't have my clips turned. This is a Rust Pins Custom Pin, and this is this is the SD, Esterbrook SD Oversized. So it is a pretty large pin, and it just goes right in there. Um, I don't feel like the zipper touches it you know, but anything any larger, if you're really going to be very protective over this, you might want to watch out for that zipper. Um, the Benu Euphoria is a very large pin too, and it goes in there just fine. Um, so this is excellent. You know, it's a, um, really great, really great pin case. And I do feel like this one is small enough too, that I could slide a little notebook in here or some index cards or something and this would fit pretty well like in most of my purses um so i'm very happy with this and between these three things which are still smaller than the giant keiko thing i can carry 10 pens to work you know put this one down in my purse or down in a side pocket of my tote bag take 10 pens but still be able to then split it up and just have four with me or five or whatever. So I'm very happy with this setup. I look forward to seeing what this undyed leather looks like in a year or two as it patinas. Um, Galen leather is excellent quality. They make pen cases all the way up to holding like 48 pens, I want to say. And people have nothing but good to say about them. Um, they have, you know, multiple colors of leather and um, they're very... Um, honorable, um, you know, just very kind people. So, um, I highly recommend you support Galen Leather and if you can give to, um, to help the people affected by the earthquake, check out the link, um, that I'll post below. So anyway, thank you so much. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I love to, um, chat with you guys in the comments. Um, if you enjoy my videos, please do, um, subscribe and I reached over 500 subscribers in the past week, and I, that is so exciting. So um, please consider subscribing so you can be here, you know, in, for future videos. And um, yeah, let's chat. So I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.